Elizabeth Barton, widely known as the Nun of Kent, was a prominent figure in early 16th century England. Her dramatic rise to prominence and subsequent execution in 1534 illustrate the volatile intersection of religion and politics during the reign of King Henry VIII. Barton's story is a testament to the power of religious influence and the lengths to which the Tudor monarchy would go to secure its authority. Elizabeth Barton was born around 1506 in the village of Aldington, Kent. Little is known about her early life, but she began working as a servant in the household of Thomas Cobb, a farmer. Around 1525, Barton began experiencing what were believed to be divine visions. She reportedly fell into trances and claimed to receive messages from the Virgin Mary and other saints. Her visions often contained prophecies and moral exhortations, which quickly garnered attention. Her reputation as a visionary and prophetess grew, and she was soon brought to the attention of Dr. Edward Bocking, a monk from Canterbury. Bocking saw potential in Barton's visions to inspire piety and perhaps even influence political matters. She was subsequently moved to St. Sepulchre's nunnery in Canterbury, where her visions continued. Barton's fame spread, and she began to attract a significant following, including members of the clergy and nobility. Barton's influence reached its zenith when she began to prophesy against King Henry VIII's marriage to Anne Boleyn. She claimed that the king's decision to divorce Catherine of Aragon and marry Anne Boleyn would bring disaster to the realm. Barton's prophecies became a rallying point for those opposed to Henry's break with the Roman Catholic Church and the establishment of the Church of England. Barton's warnings against the king were dangerous in a period when loyalty to the crown was paramount. Her public declarations put her in direct conflict with Henry VIII, who was determined to solidify his authority and the legitimacy of his marriage to Anne Boleyn. By 1533, the political climate in England was tense, and Henry VIII's advisers were keenly aware of the potential threat posed by Barton's prophecies. In July 1533, Barton was arrested and brought to London for interrogation. She was accused of treason for prophesying against the king and inciting rebellion. Under pressure, Barton confessed that her visions were fabricated, likely coerced by the threat of execution. Her confession was used to discredit her and to demonstrate the dangers of opposing the king. Barton and her associates, including Dr. Edward Bocking and several other monks and priests, were tried for treason. On April 20, 1534, Elizabeth Barton and her co-accused were executed at Tyburn. Barton's execution was intended to serve as a stark warning to others who might challenge the authority of the king. Her death was a spectacle, with Barton being drawn to the scaffold on a hurdle, a degrading form of public humiliation. The story of Elizabeth Barton, the nun of Kent, is a poignant example of the turbulent intersection of religion and politics in Tudor England. Her rise from obscurity to national prominence and her dramatic fall reflect the volatility of the era. Barton's execution underscored the lengths to which Henry VIII would go to protect his authority and the new religious order he was establishing. Elizabeth Barton's life and death remain a powerful reminder of the peril faced by those who dared to oppose the crown in a time of profound political and religious transformation. Her story continues to fascinate historians and serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of political and religious dissent in an age of absolute monarchy.